Hello, people of Tank Talk. I just figured it'd be nice to do a video from my desktop. So, yep, we might get a little closer here. People are probably wondering what that is. I'm right here, by the way. You can probably see my reflection. I can see my reflection. But yeah, I haven't been able to do enough videos lately. I feel like I don't do enough broadcasting. I don't I don't talk enough. Maybe I don't get specific enough. That's an OB there in the front. And also a Pleco. There's an Aratus back there. You can see this fire firefish, I believe. Yeah, a Lunacara firefish. Also known as the Dragon's Blood. I don't know where the albino pink is hiding. She's hi or he's hiding somewhere. There's one female with five males. I know that's not a very good ratio, but um, I figured I'd just share for a little bit. It's not going to be a very long video because I again I want to have some more material to throw up to YouTube or whatever you know. But, uh, yeah, I just created this thing that I'm going to have to go in and fix in a few minutes. Because, as you can see, some of the others are messing with it. And I made that a couple days ago. The glass looks dirty. Because, uh, it is. Calcium buildup. I don't know how many people go live in this tank talk group, but I figured I could start a trend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, all that aside. There's another tank down there. I just want to re-angle it. Hey, yeah. That's the timeout box. And the net was in there because I just had uh, guppies in there and they are obviously gone. <laughs> There's maybe one or two of them left. They get guppies maybe once a month. The female, I think she has a big one in her mouth. Which is good because she, she's she been getting chased again, which means she'll have babies again soon. So this thing will be continuously being used. Basically. I think we might do a water top off tonight because uh, you can see a little level there. Yeah, it's not exactly quite level because this piece of wood is getting old and it's warping. And, you know, I have a piece of wood underneath the tank as well as it's on another stand. So it's, it's the best it can get. 
I need to get some little, uh, what do you call those, those little shims, you know, wood shims, put it up underneath it, maybe it'll fix the problem a little bit, but in total there's about, one, two, three, four, five, swore I had six cichlids in here, yeah, six, counting the female, and then, um, that pleco you see in front, And you notice the whole, you know, territory myth? Look, all of them share this territory. I'm just going to share that out right right now. Because a lot of people think that uh, they're very, very, very territorial. Not if you give them enough room so everybody can hide. If you give them enough room so everybody can hide, and everybody can have their own segregated spot basically over here then it's fine I've noticed that I haven't had a single problem since uh, she popped the eggs out the other day and uh, yeah I figure I'll go live on here maybe once twice three times a week and give you guys all an update I haven't been as good about you know keeping people updated what's going on in my tanks because I've got three I've got this cichlid tank another cichlid tank which is next to this one where you can see my hand and then the third one is my puffer tank and I, I, I plan on doing more tanks later on it's just money 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 baby money You know? And yeah, you're just going to look at the 20 gallon long tonight. I'm not going to share much more. I mean, I could move the camera. But other than that, I'm not going to really uh, share the. Uh... The South American tank tonight. I just wanted you guys to see the uh, African tank and see what's going on in there. Surprisingly enough, the only cichlid tonight that uh, ate guppy was the female. And I noticed that our guppies went up in price, our feeder fish over there, because they're actual guppies now. And they're not gambusia anymore because they ran short on the gambusia. And, um... Basically, they're, they're, I believe, I want to say they're the, ah, da, da, what are they? They're a fantail guppy of some sort, but uh, they have the, the mixture, or mixed colors on them. They almost want, I want to say, look like a, uh, a Brazilian fire tetra. Or something like that. I, I believe that's what it's called. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But, uh, yeah. One of those in there is a Gambusia, though. One. It was a mixture. So they, they raised the price. At the LFS. I want to show you some pictures of, um... Fish I hope I one day have the time for, or vice versa. But, uh, I'll have to be at a later time. I'll share them, actually. I'll just share them to the group in general.
but yeah, over here is the timeout box, and that's basically the end of the tank over there. It's not really anything to look at. It's just a bunch of rocks, but uh, yeah, you see what I'm saying now. But yep, um, I think we're good on this video. I guess I'll go for four more minutes. But yeah, a simply made tumbler. Two bottle caps from a water bottle and an aerator. That's it. DIY. There's only about 10 eggs in there because most of them I didn't I was a bad fish daddy and I accidentally dropped them in the the tank. So they got caviar, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm kind of sad about it, but is what it is. That's the hobby for you. But I've been noticing that ever since I put that in there, I haven't seen a single day where this tank hasn't looked uber clear. So I don't know. I might leave it in there. After. Uh, it, it all depends. I might leave the tumbler in there or vice versa, change it out and uh, change it out and um, put an aerator onto it. I haven't really decided. Yeah, Radis and that electric yellow don't like each other. If you ever see them chasing each other around, that's because they really, really don't like each other. I believe they're both males. But I could be wrong. Because I was wrong before and ended up with a female OB in my tank. that got impregnated by Mr. Firefish, a.k.a. Mr. Dragonblood back there that's hiding. My albino Metroclima parasinosis is hiding, too. I don't know why, but... Knows I'm on camera, probably doesn't want to be on camera tonight. He's being private about his life. <laughs> it's okay to be private sometimes. But she's like, get away from my tumbler, boy. Get away from my tumbler. Come on now, get away from my tumbler. <laughs> That's the mom. Tell him. Tell him to get away from your tumbler. Only a fish talked. It'd be really cool. Oh no, that would be so much worse. <laughs> you know why it'd be worse? Because then they could talk back to you. <laughs> They'd be just like kids then, huh? I see one spot in the center of the, the the thing there, and I always freak till I clean it. So. If some of the fry made it and are in the rocks, which is one thing I can only hope for, you know, the eggs, because they were still just barely getting their tails. If they made it, then they made it. If they didn't, they didn't. But the ones that I got that 
I could manage to get in that tube without spilling them into the tank or in that tube, which I need to fix. There we go. That'll help. As long as they can't get up underneath it, it's fine. But the second they can get up underneath that thing, like, I'm, I'm still going to have to uh, rearrange it later. I'm not going to do it while on camera. There we go. And don't worry, I just used water on, on a towel. I don't use anything to really, you know, because I don't like ammonia-based solvents to clean your glass. They look bad later on. Let's just say they raise your levels of ammonia. Don't ever use Windex or anything of that sort. Ever. I repeat, ever. If you're going to use something of that nature, just use some water, some hot water with uh, about 20% um, vinegar. That's what I use. The acidity of the vinegar will break down most calcium, so... I said I was only going to go 15 minutes. Look, I, I ended up talking myself over 17 minutes. It's all good. Sometimes you know what to talk about. Others, you just tend to ramble. <laughs> I'm trying to give them the full focus today. I tend to give too much focus on myself when talking about fish. So I figured it'd be nice if I just sat here and, you know, gave you guys the full view of the 20 gallon today and then Maybe tomorrow I'll do the 30 gallon, and then the next day I'll probably do the 10 or whatever, ho however it goes. There's the red top zebra metroclima pyrocinosis that's her home every other fish in this tank knows that that thing right there is hers just know that <laughs> but on that note with the faith of a mustard seed you can move mountains have a blessed night, people, and have a blessed weekend. And I'm out, y'all.